Hi there, Don Fuchs here. We are changing the topic again and heading south to where the big trees are. Best stop is Mount Field National Park. From the visitor centre, we follow the well-trodden path along Russell Falls Creek into a damp valley. Tree ferns and sizable trees form a canopy that keeps the harsh sunlight out. Moss and ferns find a perfect habitat here. Then we reach the photogenic and very Instagrammable Russell Falls, the first highlight of the walk. These falls were at the heart of the creation of Tasmania's first national park. Then the track starts to climb up to the top of the falls. Once up, we follow a little side creek into a hidden valley where the second waterfall awaits, Horseshoe Falls. Then the tall tree walk begins. This is the world of the tallest flowering plant in the world, the swamp gum or eucalyptus regnans. These trees can live for hundreds of years and have been known to reach over 100 meters in height. To put it in perspective, the largest trees here were growing when Abel Tasman first sighted Tasmania in 1642. One cannot avoid feeling dwarfed by these massive trees. The holy grail for tree lovers, however, is not far from the small town of Maidina. Home to some of the tallest trees in the world, the Styx Valley is known for its lush rainforests, wild rivers and controversial past. For decades, people of all ages and walks of life fought to protect the Styx from logging and have it added to the Tasmanian Wilderness World Heritage Area. In 2013, finally, much of the Styx Valley was added to the World Heritage Area. This is the Big Tree Reserve. A well-developed boardwalk penetrates the forest here and few platforms allow visitors to get close to the giants of the forest and to get a glimpse into the glory of old growth forests. Follow the track among the towering giants, sit in silence and consider that this stunning and unique forest is now protected as world heritage. This all could have been lost to logging. Despite these temperate wet eucalypt forests being home to the world's tallest flowering plant and the fact that the tall wet eucalypt forests of the Sixth Valley are some of the most carbon dense forests in the world. Not far from the big tree reserve, a small track winds down to the Styx River. Once at the river, the track turns left and continues upriver through ancient myrtle forest. Here the rainforest is carpeted in moss and lichen and shaded by tree ferns. Besides the myrtle beach, three species include southern sassafras and celery top pine. For photographers, experiencing these forests on a drizzly or misty day is absolutely glorious. The light is even and soft. No harsh contrast or dappled light will make your images confusing. The colors are vivid. At least as far as forest photography is concerned, sunny weather is bad weather.
This was one of my favorite assignments. And if you like this, don't forget to subscribe and push the like button.